Logicality and deception. Powerful agents to the uninitiated. But we are initiated. I'm super excited! What you choose to believe is up to you. You are not a mindless zombie. Well, not yet. You have the God-given right to question, fight, or expand your mindset. Instead of being zombified in front of the boob tube. Welcome to the Deception Zone. You are now traveling through time and space. You unlock a door. A door to another dimension. But not just any dimension. A particular dimension unlike any other. A dimension full of lies, cover-ups, and deception. A dimension that is all too familiar. A deja vu of brainwashing thoughts and questionable censorship. A constant struggle of power controlled by money and careless greed. A secret, if you will. A world within a dimension full of secrets, corruption, and murder. So well hidden that its foundation is the very roots of the dead. A dimension where conspired deception controls misinformation that spreads like wildfire. Bringing you to question your eyes, sanity, mind, and life itself. Welcome to the Deception Zone. Prosecutors in New Mexico have just announced that actor Alec Baldwin has been, is going to be charged with involuntary manslaughter for his role in the fatal shooting on the set of the movie Rust. Now, this all, you'll remember, happened back in October of 2021. A gun that Baldwin was holding discharged, killing cinematographer Helena Hutchins, injuring the film's director at the same time. The film's armorer has also been charged, w will also be charged with involuntary manslaughter. Let's Whoa, do I have a doozy for you guys. Well, we all remember that Alec Baldwin accidental movie shooting that happened about a year ago. That was swept under the rug. I made my own video about it. Uh, I had trouble getting it on platforms and they kept taking it down, but finally they let me keep it. But do you realize how much crap I took for posting this video about him being guilty because of his past and this and that? I didn't realize there were so many huge Alec Baldwin fans out there. I You've got no taste if you like this man. And that's not me being a bully, that's just him sucking at his job. But since it's been a year, and it's the anniversary, and it's in the media again, I decided to repost my full video of what really happened. If you think you've heard this story before, you have no idea how far back it goes, where it goes, who's involved. This isn't a simple story of an actor was handed a gun that was accidentally loaded. It ties in with the Clintons, Justin Bieber's involved somehow. Like I said, there's so much you have to know about this story. So I'm going to repost it now on my TikTok. But do me a favor, if you guys like the video, like it. And then go to my TikTok homepage and hit the YouTube button. It will take you directly to my YouTube page. And please subscribe and like the video. I need all the support I can get. They censor me constantly, take down my pages right and left. But here is the full story just for you. All right, so you guys wanted the full story from start to finish. All right, I got you. I've got information on everybody that was involved. All the secrets, lies, and cover-up. This is Helena Hutchins, the cinematographer who was shot by Alec Baldwin. She has been traveling for nearly 42 years. She grew up on a remote Soviet military base in the Arctic Circle. Previously, she had worked with a journalist with the... British documentary productions in the European area. And this was before studying film in Los Angeles and embarking on a promising movie making career. According to Instagram, she refers to herself as an adrenaline junkie and she likes to experiment with lighting and storytelling. Let's stop right there for a minute. So she has grew up on a secret Antarctic military base. She's an adrenaline junkie who makes documentaries and she loves storytelling. Why is this information important? because we will be getting to that in a few. After Hutchins moved to Los Angeles, she graduated from the AFI Conservatory with the MFA in Cinematography and has recently finished shooting her sixth featured film. Does anyone know this woman? It's okay, I didn't either. Apparently this woman was gonna release a documentary on the Hollywood pedophiles. Okay, that's news in itself, but why is this woman so important at the moment? This woman is a victim of Alec Baldwin's recent murder. 
Prosecutors announce that they're going to seek involuntary manslaughter charges against Baldwin. <laughs> going to show you some of the body cam footage from one of the first responders to the scene. We have to understand ultimately what really happened here. It's not just about a celebrity who might go to jail. It's about a mother who lost her life. Let's take a look. to the University of New Mexico's hospital where she was announced dead. She's the wife of Matthew Hutchins. Why does he sound familiar? Matthew Hutchins is the lawyer of a law firm, both representing and defending the Clinton. The reason why her death is so important is because she was working on a documentary outing the connections between child sex slavery, trafficking, and the Clinton. So basically what you have here is someone making a documentary outing all the politicians and sick people in charge being pedophile. We all know with the Clintons, that's a no-no. So not only is Alec Baldwin paid to push the left's agenda, but he is a hitman for the Clintons. Was it really an accident? Because how many people actually get shot with prop guns? It's happened. So you think they'd take extra precautions at this point? Think outside the box. Now, let's talk about this guy. Alec Baldwin has a long acting career, but that is the least interesting information compared to what he has done. Baldwin at times have been portrayed by the US media as a hothead and offensive. In an earlier article, he embraced the fact that he was a horrible father. Baldwin's talk show, Up Late with Alec Baldwin, was axed in 2013 after he apologized for comments that a gay rights group described as homophobic. The actor has had many run-ins with the law, too. He was charged in 2018 after a fight over a New York parking spot. And in 2014, he was given a summons for disorderly conduct after an argument with police who stopped him from riding his bike down the streets of New York City. He has been a member of the Masons for his whole life. And he pushes the agendas for the Illuminati and the elites. Most recent example of this was him resorting to be a hitman for the Clintons, adding to their long list of body counts. I do have some very unfortunate news to tell you. Um, she didn't eat it. Yeah. So, Joel's still at the hospital, but the other person will make it. Dramatic pause. Wah, wah, wah. I swear when I was little, I saw something on the media. Of course, I can't find it on the internet now, but Alec Baldwin was involved in a hit and run, but he got off charges because it was simply an accident. But he has since came out to apologize about the movie set gunfire incident. And he states that it was simply nothing but an accident. He claims that the director handed him the gun and told him it was completely safe to shoot. Why would you be pointing a even fake gun at someone off camera? Seriously, it makes no sense. Moving on, his family roots go so deep in the Illuminati that he includes younger family members to be puppets in his sick, cultic behavior. And that brings us to Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is a worldwide performer and started his music career out at a young age. He was in the entertainment industry for so long that he was ready to leave and the Illuminati that followed. If you remember correctly, Years ago, Justin Bieber was caught on camera crying and warning Billie Eilish that she wouldn't have to go through the same things he did to get fame. I wanted to protect the moment 
You know, I don't know how many opportunities I'm gonna get. You know, we never know how many opportunities we're gonna get with anybody. I mean, it just, I'm tearing up thinking about it. Just, I just wanted to be a good example. And uh, it was hard for me being that young and being in the industry and not knowing where to turn and everyone, you know, telling me they love me and, you know, just turn their back on you in a second. Um, so if she ever needs me, I'm going to be here for her. But, um, but yeah, just protecting those moments because people take for granted uh, encounters and um, I just want to protect her, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want her to go through anything I went through. I don't wish that upon anybody. Yeah, if she ever needs me, I'm, I'm just a call away. Do you realize how important your story is? Every time I have a conversation with someone who's been through this unique type of experience, I'm just, I'm searching for some kind of truth that can help. I commend you for going there and uh, asking the tough questions and the things that people don't want to talk about and they don't want to go there because it's just, it's revealing and it's, I want people to take a look at my story and hopefully my words can, can make a difference. I feel violated right now. Harry, who apparently wanted to know what a Bieber butt felt like. Things on blast, you know. You want to say it again? You have beautiful lips. Oh, thank you, man. Thank <laughs> you, like, bro. Oh, you have great lips. Thank wow. you. We're upon us. Yeah, serious. I want to protect her, you know? I don't want her to go through anything I went through. The media made it look like he was going crazy, but he was just tired of all the sick stuff that the Illuminati was making him do and all the agendas he was forced to push. Oh, but the Illuminati could not let him go because he held too many secrets. They couldn't kill him because he was too big of an influencer for this and a huge money maker. So what do you do to a dog that runs away all the time? You tie him to a leash. Justin Bieber was forced in an arranged marriage to Haley Bieber. Originally, Haley Baldwin, the niece of Alec Baldwin. She is his keep, his watcher, so he doesn't get out of line and say something he's not supposed to say or do something he's not supposed to do. Yes, her father is huge in the Christian community, but he's got to seek fame somewhere. Remember, these are all actors just playing a part. I do have some very unfortunate news to tell you. What? 